you excuse us for a moment? What in God's name is this about? We aren't in business. I'm not interested in building houses. I want to build an artist colony. Listen. Never let a chance go by, Paris. Treat it as a small detour. Satisfy the matrons, then you'll get the patrons. All you have to do is keep them happy with a few extravaganza, which will soon become bonanza. Leave it all to me, and they'll feel fulfilled. Wait until you see what I'm going to build. Aunt Eva, Uncle Edward, allow me to introduce you to your new house. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Paris, darling, you may put me at the top of the list of sponsors for your artist colony. You may even name the administration building the Stokesbury building. If Mr. Meisner will design it, of course. Just as soon as my schedule permits. You, where have you been all my life? Look at it. Look at it. Look Look at at it. it. You. You're the answer to my prayer. Notice the details. You, you're one in a million. What's that? It's enormous. Remember the breakfast nut. You, where have you been all my life? Wait till Lily calms in, please. About that administration building? Oh, hello, Lily. Where's this Michelangelo you found for your auntie? Lily Cosden, Addison Meisner. Mr. Meisner, the house you built for Eva is a work of art. You must build me one exactly like it. No. No? No. It has to be something for you. I see cypress arches, mosaic floors, reminiscent of the conquistadors. I see colonnades in a hundred shades, with a Roman cloister to house the maids. I see... Lovely, isn't it? You, you're the answer to my prayer. Lovely, absolutely lovely. You, you're one in a million. Lily, I'm sure my Aunt Eva's told you about the little artist colony I'm cooking up. I hope I can rely on your yes, support. Yes, yes, but why is it smaller than Eva's? That's merely the West Wing. You, where have you been all my life? You, you, you have the vision. They have the money. We, we both have a dream. I'd say we're a team Who knew that you'd come into my life? Where have you been? Paris Singer! Miss Plumbauer, I know. Say hello to Addie Meister. My Horace is being very naughty, Addie, and insists on giving me one of your handsome houses for my birthday. Ah, oh, when is your birthday? March 10th. Can't be done. Money is no option. I'll see what I can do. Make it like Lily Costin, only bigger. I see Gothic arches, Moroccan chairs, thin door trees and without door stairs. I see Chinese bread, I see gingerbread, and a huge Victorian potting shed. Fine, fine, just as long as it's done by March 10th. And a fountain where you can soak your head. Happy birthday! <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Lovely, Addie. And such a view of the ocean. Yours has the acreage. Yours has the privacy. Yours has the cupola. The cupola? That Addie's just designed for you. Ah. Looking down on the trombowers and out on the ocean. You, where have you been all my life? Norwegian theory blue is not you. No. No. 
I see you as a hot end, a happy fusion of Indonesian and Andalusian. I see stuccoed walls, I see paneled halls, I see carpets woven from native shawls. You're a hot end. You who are astonished. If I ever saw one. Yeah, house has 21 bedrooms. Yes, but yours has a renaissance courtyard. You're a medieval villa. Old vermilion and vanilla. Oh. But yours has a view of the ocean. You're a neo-gothic ruin. That's the setting I see you in. Yours has a view of the ocean. Yours has a pool for the staff. Yours has a pool for the staff. Yours has a moat with a boat and 21 bedrooms. Another house for Mr. Geist. A house for me. A house for us.